Hi, I'm Eileen Wyatt, and I'm here today at the Brooks Free Library, and next to me is sitting in Carpenter, our well-known children's librarian, and as usual, she has just a fun-filled month um, ahead of fun things for the children to do while they're on school vacation. And Anne, you want to start with the week of July 29th through August 2nd? Absolutely. Um, starting on that Tuesday, we have our regular story time, as always, at 10.30, mm -hmm. and then also on Tuesday, the 29th, we're going to have the Coastal Explorer van here from 10 to 3. So for quite a long time, um, it's a drop-in thing. They ha The Barnstable County Extension Office has a huge trailer filled with information and hands-on activities about coastal animals and different things. So they have hermit crabs and other crustaceans. They've got um, a bunch of models of sharks and um, oh, wow. other sea animals. So it's quite exciting. Yes, that sounds like it'll be very popular. I know that uh, sharks seem to be a theme here on Cape Cod this year. Um, in fact, there was uh, just a story on uh, one of the Boston television stations last night on their uh, evening news about um, the sharks on Cape Cod and the interest that people are showing, and I guess it's helping with merchandising and so forth. So that ought to be a fun visit with the coastal van. And then on <laughs> Wednesday, August sorry, July 30th, um, we have our regular creative movement program, which is every other Wednesday at 11.15, um, which is great for preschoolers, kindergartners, um, young children to come in and do some improv stuff and dance and music. Um, so that's a lot of fun for younger children. And then in the afternoon at 2.30, we're going to have a puppet show that's going to be doing Swimmy, the it's a famous um, picture book and other tales by the same author. Um, so it'll be a bunch of... Um, puppets and that's a, it's going to be a lot of fun. And what age group would that be good for? I would say that would be good for preschool through about third grade would be the target audience. Okay. Um, older children obviously are, and younger children are always welcome at any of our programs um, even if they're not the target age group. We'd right. You never know what someone's going to be interested in and find fascinating. And then on the last day of July, Thursday, at 3 o'clock, we're going to have a Lego free play. Oh. So we'll bring out our gazillions of Legos, <laughs> and anyone can come and, um, and play with the Legos. And that one, I don't, there's not even a recommended age on that one because everybody loves Legos. You're right. Um, you don't have to bring your own Legos. Um, so if you're down here on vacation and you're missing your Legos, you can come by. If you live here year-round and you have a million Legos, our Legos are different Legos. <laughs> and it's always fun to play with somebody else and sort of create a story and, um, you know, interaction with other people while you're playing. And that's at 3 And that's at 3 o'clock on mm -hmm. Thursday, July 31st. Okay. And then Friday, the August 1st, we're, we're going to have story time at 1030. So you can come. That's great for a bunch of different age groups, preschool through about second grade, I would say. We sing songs. We read books. It's a good time. Wonderful. So you have a fun, filled, uh, and packed week of things going on from July 29th through August 2nd here at the Brooks Free Library. So please take advantage, whether you